My name is Dave Wandler. I'm the Regional Sales Manager for Norbeck Insulated Metal Panels. Uh, Norbeck is a manufacturer of insulated metal panels uh, based out of uh, Montreal region in Quebec with uh, two manufacturing facilities, uh, continuous panels, insulated panels and doors, and uh, known f uh, for over 30 years in the industry. Uh, recently acquired by an investment group about three years ago, and we are in a growing and expanding mode at a very busy time. So we're happy to be here. This is my colleague, John. Pleased to meet you, everybody. Yep. Yeah. So let's get started. Today's uh, presentation, Insulated Metal Panels, Where Performance Meets Design, is an AIA Continuing Education Program. Um, you'll notice that uh, it is a copyrighted presentation. Credits earned on completion of this course will be reported to AIA CES for AIA members. Certificates of completion for both AIA members and non-AIA members are available upon request. This course is registered with AIA CES for continuing professional education. As such, it does not include content that may be deemed or construed to be approved, approval or endorsement by the AIA of any material of construction or any method or, or manner of handling, using, distributing or dealing in any material or product. Questions related to specific materials, methods and services will be addressed at the conclusion of this presentation. For anybody that uh, has and can get USG BBC credit, also one continuing education credit available there. So our course description. Today's specifiers expect cost-effective building solutions that deliver superior performance without compromising design or the environment. This course explains how insulated metal panels meets those expectations. You'll see the composition of the IMP, how its materials affect thermal performance, strength and resistance to moisture, weather, and fire. The choice of materials also contributes to green building goals at every stage of the product's life cycle. The IMP is factory assembled, assuring high quality through consistency and accuracy. Installation costs are greatly reduced because the IMP arrives to the job site ready to install in one step. The superior thermal performance means a reduction in operating costs, not to mention reduced emissions. Lastly, this course will deliver tremendous inspiration through product examples, or sorry, project examples with numerous combinations of colors, materials, textures, even curves that meet the functionality of any building type. Our learning objectives today, at the end of the course, participants will be able to define the role of insulated metal panels as a cladding solution for new projects and retrofits, explain how the IMP materials, which are factory assembled, deliver superior thermal performance, fire protection, resistance to moisture, increased strength, and even acoustic control. Acknowledge the significant cost savings of IMP through one step, one day installation and reduced energy cost to operate the building. Understand the IMP's contribution to green building, including environment considerations and material sourcing, installation, building use, reuse, recycling at end of life. Identify numerous design options of the IMP, including size, orientation, textures, profiles, colors, corners, curves, to meet the needs of multiple industry applications. The role of an insulated metal panel. As a single component building envelope, whoops, didn't go, there it goes. The role of insulated metal panel. As a single component building envelope solution, insulated metal panels are simply the most cost effective cladding solution that meets and even exceeds building code requirements. Insulated metal panels offer multiple advantages such as superior insulation, increased longevity while leaving room for creativity during the design phase. These continuous panels are suitable for many construction projects, both outdoors and indoors, and are available in a wide range of colors and finishes. Insulated metal panels consist of two steel sheets 
cast with liquid, poly liquid polyisocyanurate foam, which causes a chemical reaction and expands to form the insulating core of these products. For fire protection, the panels would include mineral wool fiber insulation. The detailed drawing that you're looking at above shows a top and bottom sheet of an insulated metal panel, which is galvanized sheet steel or galvalume with a foam core, which is either polyurethane or polyisocyanurate, which is poured in place, or it would be a mineral fiber which is glued in place to the sheet steel. The, the IMP as a building envelope solution acts as a pressure equalized rain screen with superior sealing. The IMP exceeds the most stringent building code requirements for air and water infiltration. A building envelope constructed using IMPs has a limited number of joints compared to traditional construction methods reducing prudential sourcings of sources of infiltration. The insulation to insulation contact at the panel joints reduces thermal bridging. What you're looking at on this screen here is the typical uh, starting point of an insulation foundation panel off the foundation wall. So you're looking at your steel angle would be your first point of connection, a vapor barrier. You're looking at the weep hole for the rain screen that we talked about the clip with a fastener, and there's your foundation, a trim support, and your trim piece. The double butyl gasket, which is shown in the, in above in the compression, on each side of the compression chamber, on the interior exterior is a factory installed to ensure consistency and reliability in sealing the system. The gasket design features a cavity that simulates an air-balanced rain screen system which is a proven system in curtain wall design. IMPs are assembled by a fully automated manufacturing process, which ensures a high level of quality and consistency. IMPs arrive at the construction site pre-painted with a high performance factory applied coating. Unlike this traditional insulated wall assembly, which is built on site, there is no risk to system integrity since IMPs have, are very well, are not field assembled components. IMPs do not require multiple trades for installation which speeds up construction, saving time and reducing construction costs. As you can see in the traditional wall assembly, the image above, that there's multiple components involved here with multiple trades required on site and the potential for thermal bridging at those steel suds. Insulated metal panels are offered in ranges of lengths from 7 feet to 52 feet 3 inches. IMPs will vary in width based on requirements for insulating performance and required fire ratings. The bottom chart shows the IMP weight in pounds per square foot relative to thickness and materials. You will note the difference between the weight of a polyiso IMP versus mineral fiber mineral fiber being almost two times the weight per square foot of a polyiso panel. The IMP offers design simplicity with numerous benefits. A simplified steel structure with considerable reduction in the number of parts and components. This insulated metal panel is showing a horizontal insulated metal panel with a polyiso core. Insulated metal panels have unequal thermal value, which reduce thermal bridging at the joints. IMPs help reduce operating costs and energy bills by up to 40%. Panels are designed with a pressure equalized cavity that prevents water from being drawn into the building, reducing moisture. IMP is a single component building envelope solution, which is weather and corrosion resistant. IMP features an exclusive anchoring system during installation, allowing the building to resist wind and shear forces. The panels are equipped with fire protection barriers, limiting the occurrence of costly incidents. The panels meet fire safety code requirements. The slide above represents, this is a vertical panel in orientation, and you will see the clip with the fastener.
IMP as a single component building envelope solution provides these unique benefits. Speed of installation, allowing other trades to begin work sooner. Construction cost savings with reduced manpower. Fast, faster installation and reduced equipment on site. Wider spacing of the girt allows for streamlined structure erecting and fabricating, saving materials and labor. Minimum building maintenance compared to conventional building envelope systems. Whoops, there we go. IMPs provide a higher efficiency in installation, superior product performance, and higher quality, higher quality building envelope. This adds up to lower cost installation and future operational costs, saving owners money. Insulated metal panels provide optimal thermal performance, R value, with less material used in the building envelope compared to traditional assemblies. Insulation to insulation contact at panel joints reduces thermal bridging. You'll see on this slide that the polyiso panels are R7.5 per inch. Mineral wool panels are R4 per inch. This is a picture of a mineral fiber panel. Uh, these panels provide superior fire resistance protection. Uh, that panel is a vertical insulated panel. Under CAN ULC S101 and ASTM E84, mineral wool IMP deliver a class A fire rating. A mineral wool IMP provides guaranteed fire resistance, superior insulation, acoustic benefits, simple installation, and energy efficiency. This fire rated IMP has a double tongue groove with this integrated equal pre e pressure equalized rain screen. So you'll see on the slide where the two points of factory butyl are installed, and you can see faintly where the clip is on that section of the panel. A fire rated IMP's core is composed, comprised of a non combustible rigid stone fiber installation board made from natural balsack rock and recycled slag. This core's natural and inorganic content yields an environmental friendly and fully recycled panel. Fire rated IMP offer fire ratings from 45 minutes to three hours. You'll see here up above it shows four inch at 45 minutes, five inch at 60 minutes, six inch at two hours, and eight inch at three hours up to R30 in insulation. IMPs have high strength to weight ratio. IMP manufacturers test panels for deflection to ASTM E72. Performance and strength is delivered by the exclusive anchoring system of clips with screws. IMP offer superior stiffness compared to conventional building envelope systems, higher resistance to tearing due to wind and is achieved using IMP. Clips with fasteners provide optimal anchoring strength to the structure and are certified by the testing and certification organization to FM standards. So IMPs do meet FM 4881. Space optimization is achieved in structures, structural components due to the minimal amount of uh, girts required to install insulated metal panels. The IMP concealed fasteners allow for aesthetic installation without visible concealed fasteners, so you don't see these fasteners. Performance and wind. IMPs are tested for air infiltration to ASTM E283 and ASTM E330. This slide shows you the impact of wind and, and pressures and negative pressures on a building envelope. IMPs contributes to lead V4 through thermal efficiency and cost competitive construction while offering long-term high performance that lowers operating costs. IMPs have zero ozone depleting potential. There are no VOCs. IMPs contribute to green building throughout the product's life cycle, including purposeful sourcing of quality environmental friendly material, which is recyclable and reusable at the end of life. Attention is paid to the reduction of green 
greenhouse gas emissions associated with building construction and operation. This in addition to minimizing air leakage thanks to continuous insulation, many projects requiring low emission and green construction choose insulated metal panels. Brand specific insulated metal panels offer environmental product declarations, which contain valuable information about the company's definition, building physics, the basic materials, its origin, product manufacture, and processing. In use conditions, life cycle assessment results and testing results and verifications. EPDs can help you use sustainable building materials and develop more energy efficient and environmentally, environmentally responsible buildings. Whoops. IMPs deliver design, flexibility, creativity, and customization. The designer has options when specifying IMP by selecting different profiles, finishes, and orientations, horizontal or vertical. A uniform look that gives the illusion of aluminum without its high price is possible using insulated metal panels. IMP are compliant with the strict requirements of the building codes. Coordination with other building materials and products, like adding architectural fe features, is easily achieved using IMP. The next few slides uh, shows examples of design customization with windows, doors, textures, profiles, colors, orientation, corners, and curves. This stadium complex represents that customization. Hosting football, soccer, rugby, and athletic events, it has become an iconic building within this university's campus. The project design combines a variety of insulated metal panels, colors, wooden materials and other mixed materials which bring forward its modern and elegant design. IMPs can be cut to different angular shapes to match the, the building design or to adapt to the desired window shapes. This impressive office and manufacturing building was designed with various materials such as steel and aluminum accompanied by many windows, translating into a modern and aesthetic appearance. The use of insulated metal panels complements the textures, colors, bold ang angles intrinsic to its design. Here's another picture of the same project showing vertical insulated metal panels in combination with large window openings. The integration of windows and IMPs was a perfect example for this brewery restaurant. Actually, this architectural, you'll see that architectural siding has actually been installed over top of the insulated metal panel. IMP manufacturer offer CAD details, this detail showing window jam. Another detail for windows, uh, window head. And then the last detail required for a window would be a window sill. IMP manufacturers provide similar CAD details for doors. And here's your jam detail for a door, the head detail for a door. John, hey, thank John you, will David. continue from here. Perfect. Okay, architectural elements from color to curves. Yes, you heard me correctly, curves with IMP. I'm sure a lot of, of you will find that interesting. Profiles, texture, colors, orientation, corners, and curves. Insulated metal panels are available in different textures and a wide variety of colors to create interesting contrasts. Once the colors have been chosen by the architect, engineer, client, it is possible to form a specific geometric profile or pattern in the steel before assembling the panel or to add an embossed finish. Steel thickness and texture. The steel, uh, which is galvanized or galvalume, is available in 22, 24, or 26 gauge. 
the texture, so for example, the one in the top left is a smooth finish, no profile, sorry, no texture. And then on the far right, we have an embossed panel. That's also known in the industry as a stucco, or I like to call it as an orange peel type of finish. The smooth finish provides a sleek, elegant look. You see a lot of that in, in today's modern designs. The embossed finish gives a more textured appearance to insulate a metal panels and reduces the vis visibility of possible imperfections in this deal. So um, embossed was, was very popular at one point. It's, it's not as popular as it used to be, but you still see it around, okay? Steel profiles. Now, depending on the IMP manufacturer, they offer different profiles, but these are the four basic ones that everyone seems to offer. Uh, you have the straw rated silk line, fluted, micro rib, and of course, no profile. Silk line straw rated. It provides better strength to the steel and makes it possible to manufacture longer panels, especially in dark colors. Fluted. It's an ideal profile for heavy industrial applications. Micro ribbed offers strength to the steel while providing the aesthetic look that comes close to smooth finish without a profile. So with the micro rib, you get that strength of the steel. So if you go up close, you'll see the micro ribs. So if you're within a couple of feet of the building, but if you stand back, maybe you're 20, 30 feet away, you won't notice the micro ribs at all. You'll think it's smooth. So a lot of people who want the smooth look of a, a panel, uh, but want the strength of a micro rib, we'll, we'll pick micro rib. Because a lot of these buildings, you got to remember, you can't really go up close to them, industrial or commercial buildings. There may be security or some landscaping, so a lot of people use that type of finish. And then, of course, you can choose no profile if you wish. A smooth, no profile coating creates the look of aluminum panels. You not only get the look you want from aluminum, but you also get superior insulation at a lower cost. Insulated metal panels become a very economical solution for large area projects compared to construction made of aluminum or aluminum composite panels. So where a lot of architects were thinking to use ACM in the past, uh, they're now using IMP because it's a lot less expensive and it's much more efficient. Uh, I'll be glad to answer that question. Can we wait forever? Yeah, if that's possible. Thank you. We will answer that question. Just remind us, okay? IMP paint systems, SMP. Uh, which is silicone modif modified polyester. Uh, these are available in classic collection, which is 26 gauge steel. And then we also have the premium collection, which is available in 22 gauge. And these are more architectural colors. The silicone modified polyester is a one coating choice for applying color to the IMP. It provides the following benefits. Excellent outdoor weather protection, stain resistance, Superior chalk resistance. It meets the AAMA 2605 superior performing finishes. It's, a high, it's available in high and medium gloss finishes. And the price to the quality is excellent. The solar reflective pigments contribute to reducing heat transmission and optimize the performance of the building's energy efficiency. The classic collection includes in stock colors the premium colors are sometimes in stock, but they're readily available to order, okay? Custom colors are also an option. So if you have a particular retail business, maybe something in the food industry that has corporate colors, you can also order those as well, okay? IMP paint systems, PVDF. The second option to applying, this is the second option to applying color coating is floral polymer PVDF. This coating is a premium 70% Kynar 500 finish, and it's a resin-based system. It provides smooth, hard, slick coating that retains color. It's resistant to corrosion and chemicals, and stands up to moisture, salt spray, and UV light. There's other finish options. For the interior, for example, you can use stainless steel, or a product called Advantica L. Adventica L is a laminated PVC specifically designed to meet the stringent requirements of controlled environment applications such as food processing and preparation. So a lot of these beef facilities, uh, chicken facilities will use the Adventica L. And also for cold storage and packing, pharmaceutical clean rooms and laboratories. So where they manufacture 
uh, drugs and things like that, they'll use that product as well. IMP building heights. IMPs have no limits to building heights when building code requirements with height and occupancy are met. So uh, that statement there, obviously the municipality and the building envelope engineer have to approve the height of the building, all right? As you can see in this artist's rendering, they're using multiple colors along with some windows. Oops. And here's the finished pro uh, product. It's a 9,500 square foot, six story building, which distinguishes itself from its surroundings by intricate two colored pattern, created using insulated metal panels and multiple windows. The complex design and use of the contrasting elements results in the state of the art looking government building, and this house is actually courthouses and police stations. Police station, sorry. Choice in color. Choose a pop of color with IMPs, a great way to reinforce the company's brand. So like I discussed earlier, uh, depending on the company, they may have a corporate logo or color that they use. For example, this company here, they use the red and they incorporate it in the design. You can do that with IMPs, okay? You just don't have to pick one color. You can pick, a, like a, if that's a custom color with us, you can order that custom color with us. Orientation, vertical versus horizontal. IMPs can be installed vertically or horizontally. So the two panels you see on your left there, uh, one's a polyiso, one is a mineral wall, those are both vertical. And then on the far right, we have a horizontal panel. They both feature hidden fastener systems with clips and screws. So you don't see the clips and screws with that. Now, the horizontal, an alternative to aluminum composite material, ACM. Horizontally installed IMPs are superior due to their insulating properties, simple installation, and low cost. So like David was talking about earlier, the panels come finished to the job site. There is no multi-steps. You don't have to call in different trades. For example, if it's a union job, you might have to call one trade to do something, then another trade comes in to do something else. Something goes wrong, one trade blames the other. You don't have to do that with horizontal or IMPs. One trade can install the panel. This is another example of horizontal panels. This bicycle retail company utilizes the IM IMPs outside and inside factory corners. Okay? Vertical orientation. The, the sports arena features the panels install, installed vertically. So as you can see in the picture there, you see the vertical panels at the top and they're all different heights. Bent corners. The panels can be profiled to bend at corners, giving a continuous look to the project. So as you can see there, uh, the top right corner, it's a horizontal, with a, that, that particular corner has a horizontal reveal. Okay, so it's, a lot of people think when you're using metal, it's gonna be a choppy, not a clean look. As you can see in those pictures, it's a very clean look. Bent corner flashing with concealed fasteners. This is a ver these are vertical installed panels, the bent corner flat and they feature bent corner flashing with concealed fasteners. Very clean look. Here is the CAD detail that you just saw previously on the previous slide. This features an outside corner flashing with concealed fasteners. All these details, okay, for any architects or engineers that are in the room, I know that's most of you, um, all these details are available by your manufacturer in PDF or CAD, okay, or obviously through your salesperson. Here's your vertical joint detail for horizontal IMP. This mimics ACM, um, it, it's offered in trimless ends and is different, and has different size reveals that are also offered, okay. Project Profile. This is the Place Bell in Quebec. This is a multifunctional cultural and sports complex which welcomes a variety of events such as hockey games and concerts and other entertainment. This project's specific traits resides in its cylindrical shape of the main building area 
which was achieved using two different size panels. So to get this curved building, they used two different sizes of IMP. So here is the specifics. Uh, if you require these details, uh, just send myself or David an email and we'll be glad to email these details out to you, okay? You'll see our contact information at the end of the presentation. The specifications of this project is its cylinder structure in the main building area. The challenges faced with the design included installing the panels at the joint level and making sure to keep the insulated properties that IMPs promise. Okay, so that was a bit of a challenge that we had, but we've met the requirements of the insulation. Here is the cladding over IMP's vertical hat channel detail. We'll be glad to share this with you, like I said. Circular forms. Here are some other details of this project. These are the outside flashing details. Again, we are showing you the place bell project along with other projects with cylindrical shapes. So it can be done. Architectural elements. Aesthetic possibilities are limited thanks to the addition of decorative facings and architectural elements. If more versatility is desired, integrating elements can be added to the panels to allow even more creative expression. Films can be printed and then installed on the panels without damaging them. So as you can see in the left picture there, I think it's a speed, a speed skater and a hockey player. Uh, for example, if you're leasing, uh, your client is leasing out a building, the particular tenant they have is maybe they own a sports equipment business. Two years later, the lease is over, they decide to move out. You peel off the sticker and you can put a new one on for the new tenant, okay? You're not damaging the panel at all. Whether in sections, overlays, or even wood accents, these decorative additions to the facade create a meaningful concept for the building. These elements are installed using supports, guaranteeing high performance anchoring points while allowing you to, to design distinctive creations. So uh, again, your IMP is your base, but you can add on to that. So that's the beauty of the IMP. You can add other cladding to that, okay? You just don't have to use the IMP. This athletic center was renovated in 2017. The exterior was also transformed to integrate vertical insulated metal panels. Two colors were chosen to create an elegant pattern that is assented with wooden panels mixing both textures and contrasting elements. So they added some wood elements here and they added different colors and they added different, if you look closely, they're different widths of panels as well. So you don't always have to do the same width you can also do um, different widths in your design with multiple colors. Cladding over IMP. So what we were discussing, this is the detail for it, showing the use of vertical hat channels, how they are attached through the IMP to the building horizontal girts. Okay, so this is the detail you'll need to attach additional cladding to the IMP. Again, this is available through your manufacturer's website in PDF or CAD or through your salesperson. Cladding over IMPs, this is a horizontal girt. This is the same detail, but a cross section, okay? Cladding over IMP, vertical joint reveal. Cladding over IMPs, outside corner, this would be a vertical joint showing vertical hat channels at the joints and Z girts at the corners. Okay. IMP with architectural fins. So uh, you can also add architectural fins to the IMP. As you can see in the picture here, they're, they're kind of set in a pattern on the building wall and they use different links. These can be, the, the fins are available sometimes through your IMP manufacturer or they can be outsourced as well. These are architectural fins that are installed from the bottom to the top of the building. These are the CAD details for fins showing three different shapes 
and attachment details. Applications. IMPs offer a multitude of purposes from architectural to standard industrial. This is a hockey arena here. I spend most of, the, most of my evenings with my kids at the hockey arena. <laughs> applications. IMPs are appropriate in numerous applications, including, very important everyone, retail, hospitality, manufacturing, distribution warehouses, mechanical rooms at the top of buildings, schools, hospitals, religious facilities, equipment screens, aircraft hangars. A lot of you flew in today to be here. If you're waiting at the airport on the runway, if you look out the window, a lot of those airport hangars are made with IMP. Office buildings, sports and entertainment arenas. Anything, uh, any, uh, any new hockey arena within the last 10 years, uh, community centers, most of them are built with IMPs. And of course, greenhouses. Recreation facilities, this is the interior of a public pool. Okay, so with the IMP, you gotta remember it's a two-sided panel. Uh, a lot of people, when it comes to recreational facilities or aquatic centers, they'll pick a white color. That way the interior is nice and bright and you don't have to put any type of finish on that, okay? Again, this is a recreation facility. This is an aquatic center, the exterior. So the design possibilities, as you can see, are endless. Again, another sports and entertainment arena. This is the interior of a hockey arena. Again, you can just keep the, as you can see there, the, there's this, the, the steel of the building, and there you see the IMP there. They usually pick, like I said, a white, whitish color, so the building remains bright. It's an office building. You'll see some uh, vertical panels here. And the same building, you'll see that they use the IMP for the soffits. You'll notice here as well that the IMP lines up with the, the window mullions in the design here. So you can do that as well. So it's a, this is an important picture. So you can see there the window mullions line up with the IMP. Again, that's up to the architect, the engineer, to design it that way, right? Office buildings. This, these, these two pictures are showing vertical and horizontal IMPs. The horizontal IMP is on the left, and then the vertical IMP on the right is with fins as well. Another office building. The formality, the formality of insulated metal panels allows them to follow the shape of the building while preserving the coherence of the design. This is horizontal IMP installed over large window opening and factory bent corners. Warehouse and distribution. This 80,000 square foot facility is the perfect fusion of insulated metal panels, windows, and aluminum creating a contrasting but elegant look. The design uses innovative rounded corners to achieve a seamless effective throughout the entire building, ensuring a coherent design as well as structural integrity. Okay, so this is a, a two-page slide. Uh, so you'll see the next one here. All right, so you'll see the rounded corner there near the fencing gate. That's a sharp-looking industrial building. Again, warehouse and distribution, you can see the, the, the vertical IMP at the top with overhead doors. And then this is a, an industrial building as well, showing the window wall, how it connects with the IMP. So very, very sleek looking. So you can incorporate a warehouse with an office, okay? This is an artist's rendering of a warehouse distribution center. This is the brewery that David was talking about earlier for hospitality. Another look at the brewery here. Showing the different claddings as you could see. 
This is a hydroelectric power plant located in the southeast of Quebec. It combines sustainable development and the innovative technology and took over seven years to build. This hydroelectric dam supplies the communities with renewable energy as well, as well as enabling the creation of employment in the area. And of course, it's built with IMP. Some more information. Um, this is, a, this is a, an industrial building. As you can see here, they used a couple of colors, but different widths in the design. So very sharp. They took a boring building. You know what I mean? Industrial buildings, uh, guys, they don't need to be boring, all right? Especially if you're located alongside a major uh, highway or road. Sometimes the municipalities or the communities might demand you to spruce up the building, make it look nicer, right? So you can do that with IMP. This is a project in the Toronto area, designed uh, uh, for some inspiration. This is a, a great use of horizontal IMP. Installation. The speed and ease of installation of IMPs have greatly contributed to their growing popularity in the building construction industry. So again, it's very simplified installation. It's a single component building envelope solution. One step install. Installation time is reduced by 50% compared to other claddings like David discussed earlier. You, th th this time of year, for example, you can start the interior work faster. So right now, a lot of these cladding installers, they're, they're scrambling right now trying to close off the exterior of a building so the interior crews can now come in and start their work, right? Unless that building's closed, you guys know, all know this. Unless that building's closed, the interior guys can't come in. So I'll just read something here. While traditional construction requires up to 11 steps, resulting in a slower, more irregular installation, Insulated metal panels are lightweight and can be installed in one quick step upon delivery. Installation time can be reduced by up to 50% when compared to multi-assembly systems. Those are the ones that David was talking about earlier. This accelerated closure of the buildings makes it possible to start interior work faster. Screw placement concealed fasteners with clips. So this is showing a self-tapping tech screw, for, for example, with steel. And then you have your laminated wood structure and you have your wood screw. Of course, there's technical details available through your manufacturer. Now, this is an IMP CAD detail of anchoring points for exterior IMP. Uh, number one is showing horizontal girt anchoring. Number two here is showing anchoring to the foundation angle iron. And like I said, for number three, it's an exterior IMP. You can see the clip and two points of factory applied butyl. Again, your, these details are available through your manufacturer. Uh, here is uh, the video that we'd like to show. his work yeah all right so as you can see it's a very quick install so of course that was vertical panels right okay there's we're gonna answer some questions in a few seconds just give me one second here I'd like to thank everyone for attending this concludes the American Institute of Architects AIA continuing education series CES course again this was sponsored by Norbeck this is our contact information for myself and David. And you can also contact us in regarding your education certificates if you do not receive them, okay? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go back. Um, we're gonna be at booth 1807. So we'll be here for the remainder of the day and all day Thursday and half a day Friday. Please feel free to come by. And at this point, we'll like to take your questions, but if you have to leave, that's fine. Thank you very much for attending our presentation today. Great to see everyone. Yeah. Thank you very much.